Geek Denies, what's poppin'? It's Adonis. We are back for another Dragon Ball Super video. Today's a very interesting one. There's been some new information around the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie around Broly not being evil. Does this ruin his character? Let's talk about it. Now, if you guys are fans of geek culture content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you have notifications turned on so you don't miss any future content. Love him or hate him, Broly is one of these characters in Dragon Ball that is just massive. He's probably top five characters in popularity of all time in Dragon Ball. It's pretty crazy when you think about it. He's not in the actual cast of the Z Fighters at all. He's not in the series at all, yet he's almost in every video game as an extra character or a DLC, and he's just from the movies. None of the other movie characters have nearly the same amount of popularity that Broly has. And a lot of times it's because of how crazy of a character he is. Completely psycho, super overpowered, this legendary Saiyan, all of that people loved, but also people hated it as well. The terrible backstory, the fact that he was just super OP, that nobody ever sensed his power. There was tons of things that people just were like, this makes no sense. And I was kind of in the middle with that. I really liked him as a character, as far as like his personality, how psycho he was, how beast he was as a character, but I hated his backstory. I thought his backstory was weak, uninspired. I thought it was thrown together. Didn't care for it at all. Could that really be it? They were born on the same day. Bruh. Look, he's making Aragus' son cry. <laughs> but now this new Broly that we have is kind of promising a completely different take, very similar aesthetic, but a backstory that is completely different from the one that everybody kind of hated. <laughs> Hello, monkeys. The Saiyans will serve my son Frieza and obey his every command. You plan to put Broly in a pod and send him to a remote planet? I'll raise him to be a mighty warrior and one day I will have my revenge! Now when the movie was announced and the trailer started to come out, people were starting to theorize what Broly is going to be as a character. Is he going to be evil? Is he going to be maniacal? Is he going to be good? Is he gonna become a Z fighter in the future? Why is he with Frieza? All these questions started coming up and a lot of people started getting behind this idea that Broly could become a Z fighter for the future of Dragon Ball Super. Now, while I do not prescribe to that idea, this new interview with the voice actor of Broly it's a, it's a good argument now for people to say, hey, there's a potential that he could become a good guy in the future. Now, it was stated by the voice actor that Broly is not an evil character. And this is also supported in the trailer that just came out. If you haven't checked out my reaction, I'll leave it in the link down below. But if you haven't seen that, Goku states in the trailer that I can sense that you're not a bad guy. <laughs> So a lot of people started asking me, sending me DMs, yo, what do you think about this? Do you think Broly not being a bad guy is going to ruin his character? And to answer this question, I kind of have to take a detour really quick. And the reason why I say this is story is everything. Case in point would be Avengers Infinity War. From the Avengers side, from Tony Stark's side, from the people of Earth side, Thanos was evil. Thanos wanted to destroy half of civilization, just wanted to wipe them out. He was going through the universe from planet to planet doing so. But from Thanos' perspective, it was necessary to save the universe. It was necessary for him to wipe out half of the planet so the planet could thrive, so there could be enough resources for people to live off of. And he wanted to extend this through the universe. He was like, look, man, we're outgrowing the resources. Now, some will say, it's the reasoning behind that makes his character so good, and I will have to agree. He really thought he was the hero in this story, and they painted it that way as well, given the fact that at the end of the movie, you see it, the hero shot. And then at the end, it says, Thanos will return, not the Avengers will return. He was the hero of this movie, even though he was the bad guy. And to support that even further, you have that part where Kid Gamora at the end of the movie said, did you do it? He said, yes. He was like, she's like, what did it cost? And he said, everything. And you could tell the pain 
that he went through to make that happen. It was hurtful for him. It was painful for him to do it, but he knew that it was the right thing to do. And these are the types of characters that even though they're not inherently just evil, I just want to kill, 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 you like them. Even though they're killing everybody, it's a weird place to be in. And this is what I'm saying in regards to the Broly movie. Even though he's not an evil character, he can still be very dynamic, he can be very entertaining, and he can still be a badass. But again, it's really predicated on the story. And so far, we can see that this story is miles different from the original Broly story already. And I still think there is a ton there that they haven't really shown yet in trailers. Case in point would be the remote around Broly's neck. That to me, doesn't really connect well with what we know so far about the story. Why do you need to control your son? What's the point in this? If he isn't evil, if he's not a psychopath, why do you need to control him? In the original movie, Broly was psycho. He needed to control him or he was going to destroy everybody. He was just going to destroy shit. He was gonna destroy his father. So these are the things where he was afraid of his, fun, his son's power and he wanted to make sure that he never turned on him. He was a true warrior, born with a strength and clout that would make most Saiyan fathers proud. But there was something far darker about him. We know so far about this movie is King Vegeta sent Broly away as a child. And this is a huge disrespect to Paragus, considering the fact that in Saiyan culture, that's not what goes down. If you're a high level warrior as a baby, high power level, you stay on planet. If you're a low power level baby, they send you off to other planets to kill life on those planets. Hence why Goku ended up on Earth. So I can understand why Paragus is super frustrated, super pissed off at Vegeta for doing that. Also, if he's his right hand man, what a complete slap in the face by your, you know, quote unquote, best friend. But that still doesn't connect well with me with Broly so far. That's why I think there's something else there because Broly essentially is growing up without knowing the civilization, without knowing its ties and its rules. So his idea of frustration is gonna be way different than his dad, Paragus. His dad, Paragus has this real deep rooted disrespect and, you know, very frustrated based on what happened Broly doesn't have that same connection to Planet Vegeta. He's a, he's a child. He doesn't understand those things. And even though his dad can really paint this picture of how he was disrespected, why he was shunned out, blah, blah, it's not gonna be the same. It's not, he's not gonna feel the same as Paragus, ever. He's not gonna know that feeling. He's only getting it through his dad. He's never experienced it like that. So he's not gonna feel the same. So him growing up, I can understand why he wouldn't be an evil character. Maybe his dad at that point decides that he wants to use his son as a weapon against Vegeta. Or it could be a completely different thing. We know that Frieza is involved in this movie. Frieza could have lied on Goku and Vegeta saying that, hey, they're the ones that actually blew up Planet Vegeta. It wasn't anything else but that. That could be a whole nother, a whole nother line that they could go down as far as story development to really get Broly focused on wanting to destroy Goku and Vegeta. Because we see, just like in the Broly original movie, there is times in this movie he doesn't have this controller on. So if he doesn't have that on, what's driving him as a character to still continue to fight Goku and Vegeta if he's not evil? What's his motivation? And those are the things, like I said before, that's gonna make this character interesting or fall flat on his face. So with that being said, if Broly's not evil, I'm okay with it. Just as long as the story really supports his motivation for continuing to fight Goku and Vegeta once he no longer has his controller on. Either he's gonna snap out of it and be like, what the hell am I doing? Or he really has a deep rooted, you know, frustration with the Saiyans in general or with Goku and Vegeta predicated on information he receives from either Frieza or his father or whatever. There's gotta be something there that is more rooted than just him being upset because his dad's upset about what happened. There's gotta be more than that. Cause as a child, you don't grow up with that same hate. You know what I'm saying? You're taught it, but if you've never felt it before, if it hasn't directly attached to you, if it hasn't directly affected you, there's no way you can translate that, that emotion, that, that, level of frustration into somebody else that hasn't experienced it. That's just not how human nature or how emotions work. So there is a very good chance that this movie could still be incredible, even though Broly isn't quote unquote 
evil. But what is your guys' thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think him not being quote unquote evil ruins Broly's character full stop? Or do you think based on story stuff, this could be really, really interesting still? I wanna know your guys' thoughts. Let me know. And also, if you guys like the Dragon Ball content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and have that notification bell turned on so you don't miss any future content. If you like the video, smash that like button, show your boy some love. And if you want to check out my latest ones, the links will be right here to the side. All right, guys. Till next time. Stay geek.